and welcome to First Taste TV. Today's featured partner is Riches, and they have a brand new, never before seen exclusive item to show us today. And you know what? It's going to be magical. But first, the ICN resource of the day. The goal of this training is to provide participants with the opportunity to review and practice basic culinary math skills, including the basic math principles of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The remainder of the training will focus on other key skills, such as measuring and converting measurements, scaling recipes, and calculating food costs, a definite skill necessary in kitchens everywhere. Brought to you by the Institute of Child Nutrition. Welcome. I am super excited to have Riches <laughs> in the house today. Every time I see you on social media, you're doing something crazy, something fun, exciting. Absolutely. So <laughs> tell us a little bit more about you and about Riches and all the cool stuff you guys are up to. Well, I'm a key account manager for Riches for Illinois and Wisconsin market. Um, married uh, two girls, mm -hmm. so I'm always busy with their activities. Uh, love the fish and love the outdoors. And more excitingly, um, if you see some of my posts, I love yeah. food. Yeah, you do. So I always post different things, and my my daughters are also becoming foodies as well. Really? Yes. So Parenting I would imagine goals. like your daughters are elite athletes. <laughs> yes. And I'm sure they love this healthy, yes. rich cuisine you guys offer, right? Yes. You know they like the whole grain, and you know just like we practice in breakfast and lunch, they eat their fruits, they eat their vegetables. I like to say they eat healthier than me. <laughs> um, you really. Know, because I like the junk, <laughs> but they both eat very yeah. healthy. And being in school nutrition, it, I'm glad that I get to learn all the different ways that in the industry that you know we're teaching our kids to eat better. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's one of the good things about being a dad mm -hmm. and being in industry is I brought that and taken it home to my kids. Okay, that's Riches great. is a great partner for that. So tell us a little bit about you know where does Riches come from? Where are you guys based? Well, we're based out of upstate New York, Buffalo, New York. Mm. Um, and basically, we're owned by Bob and Mindy Rich and the Rich's family. Mm -hmm. And in 1945, Robert Rich Sr. was able to take a soya bean and produce the first non-dairy whip topping. And then from there, 1954, we put a eclair into the business. Then our coffee rich went in 1959. And from there, now we're a $4 billion industry, Whew. 100 countries, Jeez. but we're family owned. Bob and, and Mindy, they put the family first and they put the people first because they understand in the long run, the people make the company and our vision moving for another 75 years is what's gonna make us a proud and a successful company. So tell us more about, about your family, the Riches family. I'm, I'm imagining your culinary team must be amazing. So we have 21 CIA trained chefs. Woo. And then basically from there, we have Shirley Brown. I'm sure you guys know Shirley Brown. She is <laughs> a legend in SNA. Chef Shirley. She is our head of our culinary team for K-12. So a lot of products that you see here, she's on board with helping uh -huh. develop. And basically throughout K-12 for the last 30, 40 years, she sat on so many boards and developed all the different policies that you see in SNA that we wow. see today. Mm -hmm. So with her as a, our leader and the background we have here, we've been able to develop through our culinary and our R&D, all these products. Mm. And we do a lot of testing. All these products here were, were basically, you know, developed by our customers. That's incredible. My friend Kelly actually comes to the Buffalo round tables with you guys, yes. and she never tells me anything, but I see a product and she'll say, oh, I help with that. So <laughs> yes. it's, it's really nice. It's that sense of ownership and you partnering with those key decision makers yeah. makes a great product that comes to market. There's so much care that you guys put into it, and it really shows when we have such quality products that you guys bring out. So thank you for that. And the fun part about it for me is I get to go in the schools and test with the kids. <laughs> and the funniest comments and the different things that I see on the sheets, a lot of them make me laugh. Yeah. Because, you know, the kids, you know, they eat with their eyes and they have the, the funniest comments, especially the yeah, kids in elementary school, K through six. Absolutely. So tell us about the what food is all in this? front of you. When we talk about riches, you know, we're just not one segment. We're a full line operator for every day part, breakfast, lunch, a la carte, emergency feeding, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So if we look at our breakfast line here, these are great because our ease of production in the schools with these is very quick. These are our new cinnamon rings. Mm -hmm. And basically it's a two ounce equivalent. These ones. Um, they're all the same product. They're all the same. Yeah, oh, same so product. different toppings yeah. versatility. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Fantastic. So, a standalone plane is in the middle, and then if you want to put a little glaze on it, you get a little glaze, and then a little cinnamon sugar. But Got the, it. 
basic part about that is let them thaw for about 30, 40 minutes, and then into the oven for two to three minutes, ready to serve. Wow. So take out the proofing and take out the staging before of, our, of some of the cinnamon rolls that we have in our, in our portfolio, and it's a lot quicker. Oh, the, taking the proofing out is so important because sometimes you'll go to one school and, and they're this big, and then you go to another school and Absolutely. they're this big. So uh, having that consistency across multiple locations is really important. That will be commodity flour, so you get mm. some added value there. It'll mm. be commodity flour, and again, it just highlights the rest of our portfolio, whether it's our, our, our donuts here in the middle, our breakfast bites over here, which is our French toast nom, bites, nom, nom. and then <laughs> our, our um, donut holes here. So all these products here are great because basically they're just heat and serve and could be put in any type of a, a vessel, whether it's breakfast in a classroom or we're satelliting or a la carte or grab and go. Very versatile, easy products that directors and, and staff can get an hour before and be able to produce yeah. 100 or so and be quick about for breakfast. Now okay. these don't come with the cosmic frosting here, no. right? <laughs> so, so if a school wanted to do these with their, their colors, yeah. You know, it's orange and green great or idea. red yeah. and Branding. black or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. You could have a theme day, especially during homecoming, and do a great galaxy donut. What a great idea. And it's it's just another way to get school spirit. So what is this on top? I've heard so much about on top. Well, on, on top launched our company. On top is the original blue can in 1945 when Robert Rich developed this. This is our basically flagship product on top. Okay. This unicorn on top is brilliant brilliant way to be able to sell out um, mm -hmm. on anything. I mean, you can put this stuff on anything. And the colors don't bleed into mm -hmm. each other, Absolutely. which you see a lot of in these people that are trying to get into the unicorn craze. So that's a really, um, it really shows the care that you put into your research and development for the product. And you know, a lot of products, especially in school food service, it's brown because the whole grain, you see a lot of browns. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's nice to have, especially with the fruits and, and your smoothies, some colors. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a real attractive in the cafeteria. How new is this? Um, this was developed last year. Really? And we sold out of it really quickly. Desserts. So you're hearing it here, folks. Get it now before it's gone. Unicorn on top for sure. <laughs> and then the chocolate on top, which uh, yeah. my chefs make me order. They just sneak it on their order form mm -hmm. and they think that I'll magically order it. And occasionally I do. Yeah. And so then, like you're said, welcome to my our standard vanilla on top can go on pretty much anything. So Absolutely. if you can't get the other two, this one is in stock. Or you know what you do? You put a couple sprinkles on there, but hopefully no one from USDA is watching. <laughs> Continue, oh tell us more. Wait, so I this, wanna know more about what Amanda made. What so is that? This is <laughs> the breakfast taco. Okay. And basically um, taco. it's two meats, uh, two breads, Jeez. and it's our maple waffle flatbread. And when I serve it, I like to put a little bit of syrup on it. It, mm. it adds that little extra flavor but to Norm, it. But Norm, it doesn't even need syrup because the maple waffle has that flavor Absolutely. throughout. And then the saltiness of the sausage actually complements it just so beautifully. And the creator of this is truly mm. a genius. And yes, she is. <laughs> Thank you. And very arrogant. <laughs> I started getting emails like, do you have a recipe for this? And we actually handling chart for it. And basically I was able to email it out really quickly. And it's, uh, I actually took your picture of it and I stole it for our handling guide page. So. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so a little story on these guys. This is our triple chocolate cookie and it's made with Hershey's chocolate. We launched it in the spring mm -hmm. and we ran out. Once we started, we put 10,000 extra cases into cold storage. To, uh, mm. Look at the cream in the middle. And, bas oh, so and basically soft. within the first four, three to four mm. weeks of school, we ran through our allotment that everything we had in distribution around the country, mm. and then the 10,000 extra cases that we had in cold storage. And one district said that she put a case out each day and at e each day it would be gone. So she mm. sold over a hundred of these a day and it's a good profitability. Some people you know, are selling smart snack proof. 75 mm -hmm. cents they're selling for and some people are actually getting away with a dollar for this. So they're okay. making wow. a little bit of money on it. Hey, so we all could use some of that. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. So Norm, correct me if I'm wrong, do you have some new stuff coming out this fall? Yes, and actually some are available now. Mm -hmm. I'll start right ahead here in front of me. This is our corn bites Ooh. made out of natural corn flour and six of them make a two ounce equivalent. It's a great complement to our bites over here, our, our French toast, mm -hmm. our pancake bites. What we see a lot in industry is like chicken. Chicken is always two meat, but a one ounce equivalent. So we're always looking for a breadstick or something different to put it with it. So it's nice because we always have a savory mm -hmm. and now we have a sweet. So Ooh. we do a little bit of chicken. So chicken with a little bit of corn, our corn poppers, 
during Lent, Friday fish fry. Yeah. Mm. Hush puppies, you can consider hush puppy. There you go. And so you do your one ounce equivalent there. It's a great compliment to chili. And oh, again, yeah. dippers. Yes. Yeah. Again, nice. commodity flour, it's, it's available now. Let it thaw slightly into the oven, five to six minutes, ready to serve. And a great part is it therms well in the box. So you can put it in your hot box, pull it out like an hour later. And even if it's a little moist, just take off the cover, let it kind of dry out and they're ready to go. Fantastic. Cool. What else you got? We'll go over here and we'll talk about our mozzarella bites. Those mm. were launched last Good. year, but we're kind of relaunching them. It's commodity cheese. So this was actually a snack on our retail a CPAC line, and it's a cheese-filled um, bread. Mm -hmm. Four of them make a two-ounce um, meat and two-ounce grain equivalent. Heat and serve, and basically in the hot box, very easily to store and take out for service. A couple of different ways to serve it. Basically, we took a little bit of a spicy, like a Texas Pete's hot, um, seasoning, and you could serve it with a ranch. So just to cool it off a little. Nice, customizable. And then over there, um, mm -hmm. we have our Parmesan cheese. So if you just want to do a little bit of a butter buds or a Vegeline or do a, a garlic one. Yeah. And then with some Parmesan Ooh, cheese. the garlic spray. Absolutely. Love the garlic And then with a little, parm, a little bit of, of marinara or mm -hmm. some pizza sauce. And again, a great commodity cheese item to go along with our, our pizza crunchers, our buffalo crunchers, mm -hmm. and our mozzarella, uh, bread mozzarella cheese sticks. Buffalo you guys crunchers. have so much stuff that I had no idea about. We're a full line of different options for you. We could actually do a different item for every day for maybe a month yeah. with all our <laughs> yeah. different things that we have stocked. Tell me, tell me this, I've never seen this before. With individually wrapped coming out and being so important. Yes, this please. Is <laughs> our full pork sliders, two meat, two grain equivalent, and two versions of it, USDA commodity pork and a commercial um, equivalent um, product. So the Great. commercial one is available now. And then the commodity one, since we're already had our allocations, will be more for fall 2021. Absolutely. Or actually, so 21, 22. Test it out with students okay. now, see how the yes. acceptability is, and then throw a, your pork that a great, way. You know, a great thing about that is emergency feeding. You can send it home frozen, and then they can cook it in the microwave at home, and they can just heat it in the oven. So it's a great item that's very quick and easy for them. Mm. Um, to serve. It's made of our traditional pork. I like the flavor because it's very smoky. Mm -hmm. I like my barbecue and it has yeah. a great smoky flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I just want to say I just love that because number one, it's IW. Number one is number two. Number After number one comes number two. So number two, <laughs> I'm always looking for something that's IW and that is going to be a center of the plate entree, especially looking towards probably a hybrid model that we're going to be going to yes. next year. So I'm going to have to remote feed and feed kids in the classroom. So that is a fantastic product, and I'm super excited to be bringing it. So basically, that to it'll, kids. it'll fit plan A, B, and C. Yes, so <laughs> I definitely menu that. Yeah. So then, our final item we have here, and this is a sneak peek under the tent of what's going to come this fall. This is our flatbread uh, dipper. This is just a prototype that we developed, and the unique story about this is Tracy Friedman, our key account manager for Virginia, and they're mm -hmm. making the bento boxes. Mm. They're uh, making 600 a week. Uh, wow. Yes. So basically, I feel her pain. <laughs> So basically, they're taking our, our, our four inch round and they're cutting them. Samesies. So Samesies. the hard part about it was in production, it took so much time because making them perfectly to fit in the slots was difficult. So we came out with this and basically just to tear or cut very easily. And they basically fit into the slots. And pre COVID, they were doing 600 a week. If they would have had it during COVID, they would have done over a thousand easily oh, wow. just on production, as you know, production time to cut versus tearing, pulling yeah. in. And no knife, so, so reduces the safety hazard. Absolutely. Another value would be commodity flour mm -hmm. and all the different things that you can do with it. Salad, um, this is a great one, you know, a power pack with hummus and vegetables. Fantastic. So sandwiches, flatbread pizzas, um, our breakfast tacos, mm -hmm. our, you know, our street breakfast tacos. tacos. Yeah. So again, a full line of different items to meet any different circumstance that you have to meet your menu in your kitchen. Incredible. That's amazing. And now you have a brand new item that you came to show us today. World premiere. What we is that? Yeah. <laughs> so because you are premiering something, you get to put something on the special uh, First Taste TV tiny cutting board of distinction as we get the first taste of this chocolate chip cookie. Now tell everyone about this exclusive premiere item that they're seeing today. So this is our, our chocolate chip cookie, um, obviously individually wrapped. Great part about it, it's nut free. And if you look at the reason why we put it out was there's not really an individually wrapped nut free chocolate chip cookie on the market. You can develop every type of these cookie. Yeah. Chocolate chip is still number one. Absolutely. And we noticed that there was a gap in the market and especially now with 
emergency feeding mm -hmm. and grab and go. Mm -hmm. What a perfect time to launch a product. Now, is this a one grain or is this Smart Snacks? One grain, one Smart grain. Snack. And if you look on the on side, we have the uh, Nut Free sticker. And then we also have the branding of the <gasps> Hershey's logo on there. So again, like our triple chocolate, the, the kids will identify with yeah. a national brand. Now, but does it taste good? This is the test, folks. This is the test. So they can actually request products and they can go to firsttastetv.com, fill out some information, and they mm -hmm. could actually um, be tasting this brand new item. Um, do you want to taste first or do I want to taste first? Ladies first. Ladies first. first. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And this will be available in um, this mm -hmm. fall of 2020. And we're just putting the final touches on um, Look at that bite. recipe on it. Perfect. Look at the real, the, the whole chips <laughs> on there. Mm hmm. You know, in the fall, we'll start doing our commodity samplings. We'll have it for the shows and everything. But prior to that, we should be able to have some samples out there that, you know, for schools that want to request it. Wow. Great. This was great amazing. information, amazing products, but I'm, I'm ready for some fun. Are you let's, ready for some fun? Yes, let's do it. All right, let's go have some fun. In honor of Rich's 75th birthday, we have a very special game that we're playing today. Trivia, but with two very special guests. In a battle trivia royale centered around riches, products, brand story, and whatever else is on these cards that I have not read. Bring it. Ready? Let's go. Norm, I will read you the first question, then Marlon, you have the chance to steal. In 1954, Riches launched the first frozen ready-to-eat bakery. You, gave, oh. him a, you gave him an easy one. What is that? That's not my fault. It's just the cards. I just work here. You All gave right. me the cards, didn't you? All right. Well, then you get to answer the next one. Are you ready? Yeah. I would like a chance, though. Okay. Well, I just... The Riches Entertainment Group owns three minor league baseball teams. What is the name of the team in West Virginia? The West Virginia Mountaineers. Wrong, Black Bears. Ding, 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 Marlon for the gotcha. point. One to one, <laughs> folks. So we truly have a battle going on. Let's, let's do it. All yeah, right. Next one. Ready? Yep. In 1976, Riches acquired CPAC Shrimp and Seafood Company. When is National Shrimp Day? May? Ninth. May 9th. What do you think about that? I think this is going to be kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Marlon, Farm Rich was the first appetizer brand available in grocery stores. What year were the Farm Rich breaded mozzarella sticks launched? So that would be four years after you were born. So I'm going to say that was like 1982. It is 1982. You're losing. That's called the oh, old too. Oh, that was rude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to give you a chance. Okay? Cuz I like you. We're friends. In 1986, on top non-dairy whip topping was launched. Also in the 1980s, Rich Products had its grand opening in Buffalo, New York World Headquarters and R&D Center. That's just a statement, not the question. How many bags of on top would it take to get from Rich's headquarters in Buffalo to their topping plant in Niles, Illinois? Ooh, that's a tough one. How many bags of on top, Norm? Do you want to get the pie ready? To infinity and beyond. Marlon, yes. claim your breakfast. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah! Nice. <laughs> like a fool. I can't believe he did that. It is what it is. I can I can believe that he did that. I can't believe it either. <laughs> For all of our viewers to learn more about Rich's products, please go to www.firsttastetv.com. Click on Rich's episodes for more information. <laughs> and join us next time on First Taste TV. <laughs> 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 it is good.